we got the rapper of the night. It goes by the name of Young Sizzle. Yeah, Sizzle Young Fool. Sizzle in the building. Is yeah. it just Sizzle or Young Sizzle? It's Sizzle Fool. S Sizzle Fool? Yeah, Sizzle Fool. Okay. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, S Sizzle. It's Sizzle Fool. Oh, okay. I got you. <laughs> How you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What's happening? What's happening, man? I'm feeling great. That's what's up. I'm on a great back wood, you know what I'm talking about? I'm my man behind the camera. Thank you for this interview, by the way, before we get it all started. Yeah, yes, sir. I'm going to zoom in on that weed a little bit, just for like for the audience's sake. That's it's pretty kinda, dope. Yeah, it's kind of, you know what I'm saying? Nice. It's chunky. It's done a little bit. All right, let me stop so I, before I get in trouble from YouTube. <laughs> Sizzle, so first and foremost. Let me foremost, down, YouTube. We got our cars over here. Uh-huh. Um... So right off the bat, like, what does that name come from? Like, what inspired that name? Man, my, my name comes from a long, a long thing, man. I started off as insane. When I was younger, I was in, I was like 11, 12. I used to fight a lot. I was a fighter. I used to be... I would swing fast. Uh -huh. My brother and them named me insane. My brother and my... I got two older cousins that I claim as my brothers. One died as a piece, And the other one's still around here. What's up? What's up? You know, um, they, um... They all used to call me insane. So once we got to Atlanta, we went to Atlanta about, what was that, like eight, nine years ago? Eight years ago now. Uh huh. My own boy, Yellow Boy, shout out to Yellow Boy too. Um, he started calling me In Sizzle. In Sizzle. What's up, In Sizzle? In Sizzle. Because <laughs> we from the West Coast and shit, they from the South. Right, I got you. What's up, In Sizzle? And so that eventually, when we got to being around him enough, this end dropped. Started calling me Sizzle, Sizzle, Sizzle. And then I was like, all right, I just kind of took to it. Eventually, you know what I'm saying? It just stuck with me. And then out there in Atlanta, there's a neighborhood called Little, Little Mexico. Um, probably heard of it, but. Little uh, Mexico? Is that Little what Mexico? you say? Yeah, that went over my head. Little Mexico. Um, <laughs> future and them talk about it. Yeah, Future talking about um, Free Man Fool. He says it. Like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I feel you. There's a place called Little Mexico. Um, what's his name? Young Scooter. He got Maybe saying Little Mexico Columbia for like and all that kind of thing. If you see the Columbia video, he's talking about Little Mexico. He got the he got the Mexican flags on and everything because they from Little Mexico and they say fool all the time. So we that's what you, okay, we, I got you. We was over there yeah. fucking around and shit. We used to go, so we started saying sizzle fool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We started saying it, so that's how that that name stuck with me. You know what I'm saying? It's, see, it's like a now my thing. I ain't trying to be racist. I like Spanish people, but like. Yeah. Some rappers have Spanish names like Jose Guapo, for, for example. <laughs> How you feel about that? Like, rap, like black rappers taking Spanish names. I like it. It's yeah. funny to be. It's funny to be. It's funny to be. I can't wait <laughs> to see a Jose Guapo. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Domingos. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that the means friends. means friends, right? In Spanish? Friends. Quavo, is that a Spanish name? No, friends. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is. They're family. But. That's what's up. Where you from, bro? I like your energy, man. Like. I was born in Denver, Colorado, Montbello, 55th block, 80239. Um, nigga can give out his whole address and shit. You feel me? I can give you everything where I'm from, man. Nah, that's what's great. up. I'm a, Denver, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a St. Joy boy. You know what I'm saying? I was born in Denver. Nice. And how did you get into music? Man, my father. My okay. father's a DJ in Denver that's kind of a, kind of a big deal in Denver a little bit when it comes down to the oh he used to be I should say. He don't really do it like he used to no more. He's kinda of older. Yeah. But um he was a kinda of big deal in Denver when he was younger. My, he, he had me and my brother on the turntables one day, I remember that day. He had me and my brother on the turntable, he gave me a microphone and stuff like that. That was like the first time I could really remember getting on the mic. And then we went to this Criss Cross concert. Nice. That had me like, bro, oh my God, bro. We, I, I, the whole the whole <coughs> show, I stood there. You know, asked my mama, bro. Uh -huh. I stood there and just stared. I didn't say a word. I didn't dance. I didn't move. I didn't budge. I was like starstruck. I was like five, At six. Criss Cross? I was like five or six. <laughs> bro, from then on, me and this man, Mystic, we was rapping and shit. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, we was rapping. I'm gonna be honest, like when I think of Denver, I don't think of nobody famous from there, like as far as the hip hop scene goes. Like, is there anybody who? Who? I heard of that group. What's the name? Tag um, Team. Oh, they, they call it Tag Team. Okay. Yeah, upside down inside. That's what's up. I ain't heard that shit. Whoop that I feel like is. I have. Like that's a, a fucking classic. If you ain't heard who that is, bro, that's a fucking classic. But guys from Denver though. But that's that. about as, as much <laughs> as you get is history from Denver. You get from history. But nowadays, there is some people that are big out of Denver. Hell yeah. And, and then, some famous people out of Denver. Like, I noticed you got like long dreads too. Is that a culture thing? 
Um, Cause more, black- this is more so a spiritual thing I did for myself. I had them like three times. I had to cut them twice. And how long you had them? I had these for five years. These I got. I grew these as soon as I got to Arizona. Damn. I got it in jail. I was in Atlanta. I went to jail. They cut them off. As so I got out, I said I ain't cut. I ain't get. Then cut my hair no more. I ain't going back. Ain't Hell going yeah. Back. They, you see, they've been here. You got, you know, Lil Wayne with dreads. You got two chains with dreads. Who else? Uh, Future, Amigos. It's yeah. pretty. How do y'all keep y'all dreads clean and like stay out of the cold? Dreads are just like I mean, regular I, hair. Yeah. You wash it with shampoo. Nigga, it's long. He's just saying like so casual. Like it's long though. Like <laughs> just like white girl wash her hair with shampoo. We wash our hair with shampoo. You know what I'm talking about? Like a link with long hair, wash yeah. your hair with shampoo, we wash our shit with the same. It's the same way. You know okay. what I'm saying? We just have to get ours tamed t- and taken care of a lot more. You know what I'm saying? It means a lot more. It's it's actually a lot more cleanly than... It, that's why it grows so fast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My hair is down my back and it ain't never been this long. My brother is almost to his hips. It ain't never been that long. You know what I'm talking about? Like, it's crazy. It's your natural state of hair. It's the way your hair should be. Do you... Um, when you record a song, like, do you smoke weed? Mm-hmm. Or <laughs> that's what's up. That's all we do. We smoke here smoking weed, weed and make uh, hits, bro. We be yeah. here smoking weed and just coming up with songs, man, play, fucking around. That's what um Lil Wayne, you know, the, the little lighter flick before his song start, like before he start rapping on the song. Mm-hmm. That's probably what he does too when he when he's in the studio. That's pretty interesting though. <laughs>